sometimes when you run a website or landing page, we would want that our customers would just add the product and send them straight to the checkout and skipping the cart. So in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do this and with two methods to do so. So let's get started. So once you've logged in into your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do for this demonstration is go to pages or to your page where you want to set up your link. And for this example, we're going to go for a page added with Elementor. Once we are on the page, I want to connect it to a button and then send our customers straight ahead to the checkout. For this example, I've already prepared a made up template from Elementor that as you see here, it talks about social media course or make your social media content go viral. Once I scroll down, I have get started. So now when I click on it and I want to edit it over in the link section, I don't have anything connected to it. What you want to do is set up this following link. The link is this one. I've already prepared everything and I will going to explain everything that you need to do. So here HTTPS is the protocol. So if you have an SSL certificate, obviously it's going to be HTTPS. Otherwise it's going to be HTTP. For this, what you're going to do here is set up your exact domain, which your website sits on. The next thing is checkout or your specific checkout page URL that comes right after your domain. You can find this link exactly in the description down below, but I'm going to explain a little bit further so you will have more more deep understanding what is happening in the back end. Here we have add to cart. It means or it tells the website add to the cart the following ID. We have here add to cart equals the ID. Here what we're going to do is minimize that and I want to show you what exactly the ID means. I'm going to open a new tab and go to my products. Once I'm in my products, once you hover the product, you'll have an ID over here. So for example, for the V neck t shirt, we have an ID that says it's 24. If you hover on any other product, you will have that it has a specific ID that signifies its own unique ID for that product, as you can see right now. For this demonstration, I'll go with an ID 24. Remember that or whatever the ID that is on your website for your product and head back over to the page that we've created. Once you're going to do is edit the button and paste the link over here. For my example, I have my domain and then checkout and then add to cart and then the ID 24. So I'm going to do it right now. So what I come up with is the domain that I have. I don't have a worldwide web. So I remove the www dot my subdomain, then my domain, then I've continued with the checkout that comes right after my URL. And then I have my add to cart equals 24, which is the ID that we've seen just now. So what you want to do is update that you can set up any ID obviously depends on your product on your website. And then once you have that exact URL, you obviously hit update once I did that and you want to preview the changes. So what we have now is a live web page that we can scroll down. And once we've hit the button, it automatically adds the product and then sends me right to the checkout. So let's see that in action. But before I hit the button, one thing that I want to do is make sure that my product is not a variation product. Once we did that, and it's a single product that doesn't have any variation, I've updated it back in my link, I've set a new ID. And now what happens is going to add it to my cart and then send me straight ahead to the checkout. So let's see that in action. I'll hit the get started. So what you can see here that it sends me right to the checkout. So once I scroll down, you can see that everything is pre filled. But once you see here is that exact product that I've set it up in the link. In that case, it's t shirt with logo It costs $18. Obviously, that's the default of WooCommerce. And if you want to see a video where I customize the checkout furthermore, I'll be more than happy to do so if you leave it down in the comments below. And if we check out this product, and we'll see the ID of it, you can see that it exactly matches what we've did just now. So if I go back to the products and I'll go straight to the t shirt with logo, you can see that the ID is equals to 44. And if I go back to my checkout page, you can see that the t shirt with logo exactly matches what I did just now. Now, sometimes I've seen cases where it adds more than just one product. So I just want to make sure that you know that there is also another option to enable that or make sure that only 
one product is added to your cart and sends you straight to the checkout without any more complications. So let's do that right now. What you want to do is head back over to your plugins. We'll go back to this tab. We'll go to plugins, add new plugin. And you want to type here code. So what you want to install is this one. Usually I install this one, but for the easy of the matter or to make it more easier, just install WP code and install it. Once you install it, activate it and then head back over to your code snippets. You want to add a new one, then add your custom code. Yes, use snippet. And then over here, you can name your snippet over here. You will want to paste the following code. So this following code, you can see here that it gives me an error. And what you want to do is head over to code type and edit it. So it will match the PHP snippet and then it will be valid. So what do we have here? Usually in WordPress, it adds with a PHP. So you want a PHP filter that will add the product to your cart and redirect. And then what you want to do is set up a function that will do so. So e-commerce hit add to product check out redirect and return get checkout URL. So that exact snippet, I haven't coded it myself. I took it from the following website. So I opened the new tab where you can find the website. The link will be down in the description below. So I really recommend you to go or head over to this exact website and see any other snippets that you can take and customize your own website as much as you want to. Let's go back to our snippet and see how it acts on our website. So let's Let's close this one. And now we have our snippet. Let's name it for the simplicity of the matter. I have named it redirect to checkout after add to cart. That would let me know what this snippet is all about before or without me even going into the snippet. So we scroll down and we have auto insert. I don't want to insert as a short code, even though you have that option. So I want to run it everywhere. Sometimes you would have snippets that you would want to run only on the front, only on the back or only in some certain places, as you can see here, front and only admin only side wide headers, side wide body, side wide footer. Here we have a ton of options. We can customize as we want to, but let's keep it this way. We want to have it on all devices. You can choose which device you would want to, whether it's a desktop, mobile, or whatever you want to, you can set up an, a conditional logic. And once you scroll down, you can have tags for it. I'll do a tag of PHP and I'll make it a check out. Sometimes that becomes really handy when you have a lot of snippets and you want just to target specifically what this snippet is all about. Now that we've set it up, let's scroll up and activate it first with this button and then save the snippet. And now once we've head over to our page and let's go back over here and we add it here, what this code is going to do is enable or restrict that only one product would be added to the cart and send me straight to the checkout. This website doesn't have this problem, but if you do have this problem, that can help solve this one. So let's hit another time. And now once we scroll down, we would be able to see that this product was being enabled one more time. This is how you can add the product to your cart and send your customers straight to the checkout without entering the cart. And if you would like to see any more videos, tutorials on the matter, whether it's WooCommerce, Elementor, website building or WordPress, I'll be really happy to do that as fast as I can. I really recommend you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos that I post. I usually post them on a weekly basis. As always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.